Hello and welcome to Level Up Africa. This is a course online about Unity Game Dev and we're starting with a general introduction. In the contents of this video, we're gonna take a look at some personal introductions about who we are and how we got into gaming. Then we'll look at the game dev industry as well as an overview of Unity. First, we'll start with introductions. So my name's Sam, I'm a Unity game dev with over 20 years of game development experience. I'm Unity certified and I love making games and making educational materials around games. I've shipped Unity titles and titles with other technologies with lots of different target platforms, including mobile, PC, and stuff like that. Some of my career experience, I've worked on AAA games for mobile and PC, and I've also taught in major universities in the States where I'm from, as well as done consulting with different game companies along the way. Most recently, I've been doing a lot of training online, making YouTube videos around Web3. That's how to connect Unity with blockchain technology. We won't be covering that stuff in this video, but it's an interesting new area for gaming where it's growing a lot. Uh, along with the Web3, there's some of the technologies that we use in the crypto world, including the Ethereum blockchain, for example. When I create this type of content, I use Udemy and YouTube, create projects that are freely available on Git, and use lots of technologies like that so that you can learn free and easily online. Let me introduce Brian, who I've connected with here in Kenya. We're in Nairobi, Kenya. And Brian, tell me a little bit about your career and your mission and what it's like gaming in Kenya. Uh, thank you for having me, first of all, Samuel. It's an honor and a pleasure to be sitting with you. Uh, uh, I started gaming as a kid, and uh, before it was just a part-time activity and escape. I was those kids who grew up watching a lot of movies, so when video games came through, it was just like movies, and then you could control what is happening on the screen. And I was sold for life. And I grew up a lot in gaming dens, playing different games, for instance, Prince of Persia, Super Mario, Shoot the Ducks. Uh, I don't think there's no game I haven't played that exists in this world. I've played all of them. And uh, with that passion, I moved forward and decided to try professional gaming. I was a professional athlete for Mortal Kombat. Uh, I went to a lot of tournaments and won out a lot as well. And after that, I realized that uh, in Africa, we are kind of la lagging behind. And I, I, I got all my information about professional gaming online. It was on YouTube. And I figured a lot of people on the ground love video games as I did, and they've grown up with them, but they did see how to, you know, how to bring value in it, like just how to add value to the gaming, just aside from just entertainment. So luckily in 2019, I was uh, sponsored by Safaricom to be a gaming mentor. And it's only I realized a lot of this, a lot of people in the country don't understand gaming at all. So I just realized, okay, yes, I'm a professional gamer, but there is a gap here that we can fill because gaming is for young people and old people as well. But I felt that the young ones didn't understand it and they were the ones who are easy to adapt and embrace it. So I started doing mentorship, coaching guys and showing guys the opportunities underlying in gaming. So I not only was a professional gamer, I moved to organizing gaming events, tournaments, working together with Pro Series Gaming. And today, that's what I still do. I'm still pushing gaming and esports. Let me say video games, because when I say gaming, people confuse it with gambling. So video games, to be precise. And uh, I met with Sam over here in LinkedIn. I follow a lot of gaming content that is happening all over the globe with the mission to build Africa through the examples I see out there. Because I understand our demography and how the society works in Africa. So I want to find a way to integrate gaming in an African way and uh, present it to the world. And that's why today I'm here and going to learn about game development. That's great. I mean, with Brian's connection to the community here in Nairobi and in Kenya in general, also the connection he has with esports, it's very different than where I come from and how I plug into games. So I'm interested for us both to you know, give our thoughts as we go through a lot of stuff here about Unity Gaming, how to get into Unity uh, as a game developer or other type of game professional, and all the different types of jobs that you can have in the industry. So we'll move forward with that. So I, I've been in Africa for two years. I'm a digital nomad from the States. 
and this is my 13th year abroad. And during my time in Africa, I've been connecting with some local gaming communities in different capacities, game development companies, game marketing, uh, teams that do outsource development on behalf of other parts of the world. So for me, it's really interesting to bring some of my skills and experience and also to just learn from how you know Nairobi, Kenya, how it works in the gaming industry. So creating fun, engaging experiences is interesting to me, creating opportunities to teach and to learn and being able to work together and exchange ideas as, as Brian and I are doing here in this series. So the, the, the videos here that we're going to be presenting, they each have a Unity project that you can follow along with. So if you're brand new to Unity and you get interested and excited about the things that we cover in this video, in this series, you can download and get this project that comes along with it. I made a very simple spaceship game in Unity, and we've got some key areas of the Unity editor here that we'll be talking about more in depth. Uh, but number six there is the finished game. So as you're working and assembling all the different code and assets together, you can keep your eye on the final result there in number six, that's called the game view. So we'll take a deeper look at that when we talk more about the Unity editor. So that's the end of our first section here, just giving an overview of us, about Level Up Africa, about Unity. Uh, Brian, do you have anything you wanted to ask or add before we close up this video? Uh, yes, I just have one question. Yeah. Do you think as a professional gamer, I'm able to dive into the game development scene and make something substantial out of it? That is a perfect question. So in the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to get into game development as an industry and all the different types of jobs that you have there, including being a pro athlete. That's on the big list of possible ideas. I think anybody with an interest and a passion for playing games can translate those skills into being a game developer. There's all sorts of ways to contribute from a project in a game project from being a programmer to being an artist to being able to design the ideas and being a passionate gamer is the only requirement in that then you just need to practice so that's it for this video and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks <laughs>